Okay, so I've opened up my second VMware client, the one that's going to be the host behind the CentOS server router. And I opened it up and I tried to um, get a web page, um, basically, which would go to the CentOS router and then the CentOS router would need to return the web page. And I haven't installed Squid Proxy yet, so I'm not filtering. But as you can see, I can't get a web page through the CentOS server yet. So even though NAT's set up, there's something blocking us. So what we'll do is, let's take a quick look. So we'll say IP tables dash L, right? And we'll just take a look at, whoops, I put a space in here. IP tables dash L. And we'll take a look at our tables. And you can see here that we've got, um, on our input chain, we have a reject message, reject all from any source to any destination, right? And we have that in here right now. And we also have on our forwarding policy, right, which would mean forwarding, forwarding right through the router essentially, we also have a reject all, all protocols, right, all protocols, there's the protocols from source anywhere to destination anywhere. So let's see if we can remove those and then see if it will allow traffic to be forwarded through the router and then return back to the machine um, because of the forwarding that we set up. So let's see if we can do that. So what we'll do is we'll say IP tables table and we'll do first of all we'll remove it on the input table. So we'll say T filter dash capital D and then capitals input. So the input table and capital D is for delete, right? And what we're going to do is we're going to delete the dash J reject double dash RE reject dash with ICMP dash host dash prohibited. Okay, so we put in that command right there and then we'll put it up and we'll also do it for the forward policy. And I gotta spell it correctly here. Alright, T filter, delete capital D forward, dash J reject and reject with ICMP host. So we're rejecting basically, we're deleting this line right here from the forward policy and we're deleting this line from the input chain, right? And let's see here, after we put in those commands, right, we'll take a look again at the IP tables. And you can see now we don't have those rejects on the input and on the forward. And so now, if we go back to our client here and we try to get to Google, we'll see if it's allowed through. And you can see now it's allowed through. So now, essentially, our request from our host on the private side is from this host right here, the Fedora host on the private side, is hitting the router, and the router is forwarding the data out to the internet. It's natting it and changing the address from 11.100 to 2.102 and putting a port number on there, a random port number, so that it can return the um, traffic to this specific host and so we have NATing working and we have forwarding or IP forwarding or routing working coming from the private side to essentially the public side over here and with the CentOS server routing right in the middle so we've just successfully set up the routing and the NAT and now what we want to do is install Squid and basically have it filter those requests using Squid as a transparent proxy and that's what we're going to do next so now let's install Squid and turn the CentOS router natting machine into a also a transparent proxy. And to do that, what we'll do is we'll go back to our CentOS server, 
right here and I'll just type in the clear command and I'll say yum install squid okay we'll put in a Y for yes and we're ready to install so we hit enter and so it's gonna download the packages and install squid you can see here that it's installing some extra packages we've got Perl here and you can see it's RPM Red Hat package manager that we're using alright and importing this we'll hit Y and then enter yes okay it looks like it finished installing and it says complete so it looks like it was a success so now that it's a success what we need to do is go in and edit the squid.conf file so we can set it up as a transparent proxy so what I'll do is I'll change directory into the etc directory and then I'll do an ls command and we're looking for let's see here the squid directory do we have it so there it is there's the squid folder so we'll go into there change directory into squid and then do an ls command and there it is squid.conf file so this is the file that we want to edit and so let's go ahead and edit it so what I'll do is we'll edit it in vi so I'll type in vim squid.conf alright and now we're in the the vi or vim text editor and what we want to do is we want to um, go into insert mode so that we can insert some text and edit some text so what we'll do is we'll type I and we're gonna scroll down and we're looking for HTTP port and you can see here it says squid normally listens on to port 3128 so HTTP underscore port 3128 and then right here this is where you would put transparent but with the new version of squid we need to type in the word intercept alright so now that we've typed in intercept what we'll do is we'll hit escape to leave insert mode and now we're in command mode and now we'll just type in a colon and the colon takes us down here to the command line mode at the bottom and we can save the file by typing in WQ and enter alright and so now we've edited the file and now squid should be a transparent proxy and all we have to do now is start up squid so we'll say service squid restart alright and it failed because it wasn't started to begin with starting squid okay so it looks like squid started up okay now if we go to our Fedora client and we hit refresh we should pick up the web page just as before because right now we're not blocking anything and not only that we haven't set up a rule in IP tables to actually send intercept web traffic by our CentOS router and send it to the squid server on port 3128 so that's what we need to do next okay to do that what we're gonna do is I'm back in the CentOS server and I'll type in clear and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in IP tables dash T tables and then we're going to go to the NAT table and we're going to do a capital A for add and we're going to type in pre-routing in all capitals and we're going to put in the input interface so dash I input on ETH1 so we're going to capture traffic coming from ETH1 on the private side network on the input interface right input into ETH1 and then dash P for um, protocol TCP double dash destination port 80 
dash j destination nat double dash 2 192.168.111.1 colon 3128 which is the port that which is the port that squid is listening on so this command right here ip tables nat table pre-routing input interface on ethernet 1 protocol tcp destination port 80 we're going to j change it to destination nat double dash 2 11.1 on port 3128 and before i hit enter i think i need to put in a space in between double dash d port and 80 so we'll put that in there and hit enter bad argument a all right let's see here okay let's do an up arrow and we'll stick a dash in front of the A and we'll try again enter alright that time it worked so there is the final command and then we'll take a look at it IP tables dash L and that's not the NAT table so let's take a look at that again so IP tables dash L dash T NAT all right, and you can see now the destination NAT, TCP from source anywhere to destination anywhere, and TCP destination port, TCP DPT, destination port, HTTP on the web port, we're going to change it to 111.1, .1, which is our gateway on port 3128. And that should send all traffic to the squid server. So now that we've done that, let's see if um, Squid is getting any access to it. So what we can do is we can do a cat, and what we'll do is we'll cat to root var log squid access dot log. And we'll take a look, and you can see that we're not getting anything in there, right? but what we'll do is now we'll go to our Fedora client and we'll put in our password and we'll refresh this page and maybe even open up a second page here we'll go to Yahoo alright there's Yahoo there's that so our client has picked up the page through the router and now what we can do is we'll cat that log again and you can see that when I catted the log now you can see that squid is receiving these requests and transferring those requests so it's working we are um, directing traffic and natting traffic to our squid tra server as a transparent proxy and it's forwarding the data now what we can do is we can change our IP tables a little bit to add a little bit of security here though as well so that's what we'll do next type in clear and what we'll do now is right now if we look at our IP tables command dash L listed out you can see that we're accepting anything from anywhere right and we're not really rejecting anything so what we'll do is we'll put in little security on this so we'll say is IP tables dash T filter dash capital A for add input and we'll say dash P protocol TCP destination port 3128 so we'll accept destination port from 3128 which will be our squid server right and then the J decision will be accept we'll put that in and we'll see that now in our table there it is notice how it goes to the bottom of the list on this chain input policy accept right and we said J decision accept right we'll accept from any source to any destination on the port for squid and now what we'll do is we'll say okay but IP tables 
dash a input dash j reject and we'll say reject dash with ICMP host we're basically putting this back prohibited and we'll hit enter and we'll now once again take a look at our table and when we look at our table now you can see that at the end of chain input policy except we've got a reject statement all protocols from any source to any destination